India, China, Russia and now Japan too. What's common between these countries? Well, all of them are rushing to the moon. But why? It's been more than half a century since the Apollo 17 crew stepped on the moon's surface. Gene Cernan became the last human to stand on the surface of the moon. On July 14th, India witnessed a proud moment. Chandrayaan-3 was successfully launched on its voyage to the moon. Soon after Chandrayaan's launch, Russia launched its Luna 25 spacecraft into space. The mission failed as the spacecraft crashed. The space agencies are rushing to the moon for lunar mining. Samples of water were detected on the moon's surface. In the 1960s, scientists speculated that water could exist on the moon. In 2009, ISRO's Chandrayaan-1 detected water on the moon's surface. In the same year, another NASA probe that hit the South Pole found water ice below the moon's surface. Water on the moon is important because it could provide a record of lunar volcanoes, material that comets and asteroids delivered to Earth and the origin of oceans. If water exists on the moon in sufficient quantities, it could be a source of drinking water for moon exploration. It could also be broken down to produce hydrogen fuel and oxygen to breathe supporting missions to Mars or lunar mining. Helium-3, which is an isotope of helium, is rare on Earth. But NASA says there is abundance on the Moon. It can provide nuclear energy in a fusion reactor and is not radioactive, so it won't produce dangerous waste. As per research, other rare metals used in smartphones, computers and advanced tech are also present on the Moon. This has sparked interest in the potential extraction of these metals. This is why the world is racing to land on the South Pole of the Moon. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.